Welcome to the spoken tutorial on uploading a SPICE device model in eSIM. In this tutorial using eSIM, we will learn to create a short key diode using the upload option. To record this tutorial, we will use Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, eSIM version 2.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know to Create a circuit schematic and simulate the netlist file in eSIM. If not, watch the prerequisite eSIM tutorials on this website. The device model file begins with the dot model statement. M name indicates the model name like diode 1N4007. 1N534A. Component type indicates the type of model used. Example D is used for diode, M for MOSFET, and NPN or PNP for BJT. P name is the parameter name, and P val is the parameter value. The model library files added using the upload option will be saved in the user libraries folder under device model library directory. The model library files are used with the components present in eSIM underscore devices. You can also refer to the SPICE models available in the ng-SPICE manual. To launch eSIM, you need to double click on the eSIM icon on your desktop. I have already opened eSIM. Pause the video here. Download the shortkey diode 1N5711 library file from the code file section available on this page. Save it on your desktop with .lib extension. On the eSIM window, click on the Model Editor button from the left toolbar. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to add a device model using the New option. Now, we will add a device model library using the Upload option. On the Model Editor tab, click on the Upload button. I have already downloaded the shortkey diode 1N5711 model and saved it on my desktop. Click on the desktop. Click on the shortkey.lib file. Click on the open button. A pop-up window model name will appear. In the enter model library name, type new model name as shortkey. Click on the OK button. The device model shortkey and its XML file will be saved under the user libraries folder. Let us simulate the characteristics of shortkey diode. We will open the example diode characteristics from the eSIM examples folder. On the eSIM window, click on the open project option from the top menu. Locate the directory where eSIM is installed. Click on the example folder. Scroll down and select the diode underscore characteristics. Click on the open button. The diode characteristics example is added to the eSIM window under projects. To see the schematic, select diode characteristics. Click on the open schematic button from the left toolbar. It directs us to the schematic editor. Press F1 key to zoom in the schematic. Let us go back to the eSIM window. On the eSIM window, select the diode underscore characteristics. Click on the convert keycat to ngSpice button from the left toolbar. In the analysis tab, select DC. Scroll down and enter the values. Enter source 1 as V1. 
enter start as 0, enter increment as 0 0.1, enter stop as 0 0.4. In the source details tab, enter the value as 1. Skip the ngSpice model tab. Click on the device modeling tab. Click on the add button. Double click on the user libraries folder. Click on shortkey.lib file and click on the open button. On the keycat to ngSpice tab, click on the convert button. Click on the ok button in the information dialog box. Now let us generate the plots. On the eSIM window, click on the simulation button from the left toolbar. The diode has a knee voltage or turn on voltage of around 0.2. The forward current is 95 microampere. These diodes are used in power rectification applications. Close the ngSpice terminal and plots. In the Python plot window, check the in and out nodes. Then click on the plot button. You can see the input and output plot. Close the Python plot. Let us now summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create Shortkey diode using upload option. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from the FOSSE team will answer them. Please visit this site. For any general or technical questions on eSIM, Visit the FOSSE forum and post your question. The FOSSE team coordinates the circuit simulation project. We give certificates and honorarium to the contributors. For more details, please visit this website. The FOSSE team coordinates the lab migration project. For more details, please visit this website. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. For more details, visit this website. This is Gloria N. from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.